Hi guys, so I'm back with another book haul slash in my mailbox. Um, you probably noticed, I didn't mention it in my last video, I completely forgot. I now have a new bookshelf. Um, I had to rearrange my entire room to fit it in, but my brother was having a sort out in his room. He wanted to completely redesign his room and he was getting rid of this bookshelf. He didn't actually store books on it. He used to display Lego on it um, but he broke up all his sets and so there was a spare bookshelf and I did not want him to get rid of it I wanted to be able to have it in my room <clears throat> so I had to rearrange everything but here we are um so as always I'll start with the books that I was very kindly sent for review and the first one is from Penguin and that is Silver Shadows by Rochelle Mead this is book five in the Bloodline series. I didn't request this book, this was a complete surprise. Um, but I was glad that I was sent it because I'm currently in the middle of Vampire Academy and really, really enjoying it. Really glad that I gave it another go. Um, so when I finish that, I will want to read Bloodlines. Um, I do own the first three. Um, they were also sent to me for review unsolicited because, like I said, I hadn't read Vampire Academy. Um, so now I'm really glad that, obviously, I have those ready to move on to. So I was very grateful to be sent this. And because I was sent this, I then ordered um, book four, The Fiery Heart. So now I have all the books so far in the Bloodline series um, that are out. So, yeah, and I much prefer the covers to these than the... Vampire Academy covers that I have um, really like those then from HarperCollins I have Jet by Jay Crownover this is book 2 in the Marked Men series um, I've read Rule, Rome and Nash um, Rule I read in like a paperback arc copy but the others I read um, in like an e-galley format um, and I was contacted by my contact at Harper and she said we're releasing the books in paperback for the first time if you could choose your favourite we'll send it to you and I explained to her that actually I'd like a paperback copy of Jet because I actually haven't read this one yet um I didn't skip it it wasn't available <coughs> sorry we're really sore throat it wasn't available to me so I haven't read it yet so I have that. I don't like these covers. I much prefer the original US covers. Not a big fan of this at all. Um, another one from Harper is The One by Kira Cass. This is third and final book in the selection trilogy. I love this cover. I think this might actually be my favourite cover of the trilogy. I think that blue is just so piercing I love it so much and it's such a stark contrast to that like white creamy dress absolutely love it you might be able to see it above my shoulder there I do own the first two books but I haven't actually read them yet um so now that I have the final book it's definitely a series that is drawing my eye more often this one's actually been sat on my shelf for a little while um I completely forgot to haul it in my last book haul my bad um Another book that's actually been sat, um, all the, well the next two books have been in exactly the same place as the one and I've forgotten to haul them. Um, next one is from Bloomsbury and that's Take Back the Skies by Lucy Saxon. This cover is so beautiful. I love it. I love the steampunk like cogs and like the um, pirate airship. Really really like the look of this um ugh, it just looks really really good and that came out on the 5th of june so yeah that's been on my shelf a little while meaning to haul that <clears throat> yeah loving the cover for that one and then the last book that i have for review is another one from penguin and it's afterlife by d shulman this is the third and final book in um i don't know what the series is called i don't know if it's the yeah, there it is. It's the Paralon series. Um, I read Fever, I want to say, last year. Really, really enjoyed it. It had some flaws to it. And I did actually do a blog review. So if I can find that, I'll leave it linked below if, if you're interested. 
um, or you can find it through my Goodreads. Um, it's not a series I have heard anything about. I've not seen anyone else's reviews. I've not seen it in any halls. I've not seen it anywhere on Booktube. Um, I really enjoyed it. Like I say, it had its flaws, but I actually just loved reading it. Um, it's basically about a Roman gladiator and a 21st century girl, and this sort of strange virus connects them somehow. Um, oh, there's like time travel and mystery, and I really enjoyed the first one. I keep meaning to pick up the second one. So now that I have the third one, again, it's motivation to go back to the series. Um, have you actually heard of Fever by Dee Shulman? If you have, let me know in the comments down below because no one seems to have heard of it or read it or anything, but I really enjoy it. Okay, moving on to the books. Oh, well, they're already falling over. <laughs> on to the books that I have purchased. The first one, there's a little bit of drama to it. Um, I hardly ever have book drama, but there was some book drama. So, like I've already said, I've become a little bit obsessed with the Vampire Academy series um, after watching the film and everything. Um, and on my shelf, I only had books one to five. So I thought, I'm really going through these books. I should order the final book. But I wanted it to match my other copies of the other books in the series. You guys know where I'm going with this already, don't you? Um, so I went onto the book depository because they had the edition that I wanted that would match my um, UK editions. I made sure I ordered the right one, I checked the dimensions, I checked the ISBN number. It didn't come. The one that I got is this cover. I don't hate these covers but they don't go with my covers. Um, I sort of have the original covers for the series. Um, I don't have these, basically. Um, and I could have let that go, really. Um, I could have, but it's a completely different size. It's the US paperback, so it's, it's, it's a floppy one. That in itself is great. I love, I love floppy hardbacks, um, hardbacks, paperbacks, you know that. But, for example, this is a standard UK paperback. This is the size that I should have um, been given. I don't know how well you can see. It's basic, it is um, slightly taller and slightly wider. And on my shelf, how I have those books is very noticeable. So I contacted the book depository and said, look, this isn't the one that I ordered. I understand it's the same book, but it's not the edition. I chose to order it from the book depository for a reason. And they said, oh, we're ever so sorry. Keep that book with our compliments. We'll send you another one. To be fair, they did. They did. They did send me another one. Yeah, they. Uh, they really did. They just sent me the same book twice, um, and I contacted them again, and they just said, "Look, we'll refund you," which is great. But I still don't have the book that I wanted. Um, but yeah, last sacrifice, the final book. If I can find the edition that I want in like W. H. Smith or Waterstones, I might just pay full price for it because it's just not the same size. I could let go of the cover if it was the same dimensions, but it's not really irritating me. Okay, moving on. Um, I ordered Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. Um, I love Cody Keplinger, particularly the Duff. Midsummer Night's Dream, no, Midsummer's Nightmare was okay. It wasn't as good as the Duff. So I thought I would go back and read her first book, or is it the second book? I can't remember. I can't remember if she wrote the Duff first or Shut Out first. Anyway, um, I've tried to get the US paperback to match my other editions, but nowhere had it, so I had to get the UK paperback. Looking forward to that. Then I pre-ordered Dawn by Eve Edwards. This oh, really bad glare there. Um, this is the sequel to Dusk, which I read last year. Really, really loved it. It's set... Um, in London during the First World War um, and Sebastian is kind of lower gentry he's not particularly like wealthy but he's you know he's well connected and his family's wealthy but he's not like a lord or anything and he falls in love with Helen who is a young girl that wants to be a nurse um, but then she's sort of accused of something and sort of her 
her mother is German and sort of her heritage comes out and she's sort of persecuted and she runs away from him. That's where book one leaves, like, leaves off. So I'm so excited for this one because the first book was so good, just so good. Um, so I'm really looking forward to continuing that. Then I ordered Say What You Will by Cami Mc... Is that Lovin? McMovin? McGovern. I'm sorry, but that does not look like a G to me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but it doesn't. Um, and this has been compared to The Fault in Our Stars, I think. Um, but yeah. I love that under the dust jacket, it's like speech bubble and then like like this burnt orange. Um, so yeah. About two people, they meet, become friends, and then become slightly more than friends. Um, so yeah, like the look of that. Then I had to pre-order this, and that is the Beast Within: A Tale of Beauty's Prince by I think it's Serena. Yeah, Serena Valentino, and it looks like this. Um, that amuses me so much, guys. I can't even tell you. Um, she wrote the fairest of them all which is the one with the with like is it Maleficent? no it's the other one the evil queen on the cover and then when you take the dust jacket off you then have the prince like underneath so you have the beast prince beast prince and that's exactly what it is really it's beating the beast from um the beast's perspective heard a lot of mixed things about that one but I had to have it purely for, for the cover because Beauty and the Beast is like my absolute favourite. So I needed that. Then I bought two Abby Gines books. I bought Sometimes It Lasts and Misbehaving. These are both part of her Seabreeze novels. I think this is book five and this is book six. Um, I've not read any of the Seabreeze books yet. But I have like all of them up to date that I can here in the UK, like the release dates are really messed up for that series. Then another pre-order, I had to have it. Um, Lux book, this is book five I think, it's the final book in the series anyway. You can tell it's Friday and it's after work because I am absolutely shattered. Um, but yeah, this is the final book in Tudor for Our Trout's Lux series. I absolutely love the Lux series. Um, I don't know why they're releasing it in hardback and paperback at the same time. I really don't know. I got the hardback. I don't really know why. The other books I have in paperback. So there's that. And then the last books that I have to show you are Vampire Academy related. Um, like I told you, I'm absolutely obsessed with the series at the moment. I don't know what's come over me. But I decided that I would buy the graphic novels. There are only the first three out so far. They don't know if they will be continuing with the graphic novel. But I have them anyway. So I have Vampire Academy, Frostbite and Shadow Kiss. And I thought these would be a great way to sort of recap. where, Because I've just finished Shadow Kiss and I don't know when I'm going to be starting um, Spirit Bound. So it'll be a great way to recap before I start book four. So there's that so that's everything that i have to show you this time guys have you read any of these books have you wanted to read any of these books let me know down in the comments below and i'll see you guys soon happy reading